What is up you guys? It's Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. I'm introing this video from my bathroom because right now it's nighttime and in my room my light just makes me look really yellow. So I was like, I don't know, didn't feel like introing it there. But yes, it's nighttime because it's time to do my meal prep for the work week. I do work full time Monday through Friday. So if you guys want to see how I meal prep for the week, uh, just keep on watching. But yeah, I'm thinking what we're gonna do is like p protein pancakes for breakfast and do some kind of pasta for like my lunches with some veggies. Um, yeah, maybe some tofu. No, I think I'm out of tofu, um, but we'll figure it out and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Yeah. Oh, and I'll show you guys what I have for snacks. Just all that kind of stuff. Yes. So first thing I'm gonna be making zucchini squash we've got these and we just roast them in the oven so let me wash them up chop it up stick it in the oven Okay, so while that's baking, I'm gonna be making some protein pancakes for breakfast. And so the key to that is always gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio when it comes to milk to the flour ingredients. So I'm gonna do half a cup of the powder ingredients. So a quarter of, I'm using this gluten-free pancake mix and then a quarter cup of, this one is the chocolate flavored green beret protein from Redcon. And we're gonna make some chocolate Pancakes. Yeah, I used the vanilla before and it tastes really good, but I ran out of that. So we're gonna do chocolate and maybe other days do peanut butter. I don't know, but um, for this week we're doing chocolate. So what I'll do is a quarter cup of this, quarter cup of this, half a cup of some kind of nut milk, or maybe a quarter cup of the nut milk with some apple cider vinegar and then a quarter cup of water. Yes. <laughs> And yes, I know this is for liquids, but I don't want to have to clean a bunch of different um, utensils. So I'm going to use this for the powder and then pour the liquid in it. Okay. 
So I did one serving of the chocolate protein powder and it did come out to being more than half a cup, meaning I'm just gonna do half a cup of the almond milk and then add a little water if it's just too thick of a mix because sometimes I like to start with a thicker mix and then just add water to thin it out. Also, you are going to need some baking powder and then what we're gonna use as a coagulant for the milk is apple cider vinegar. So I'll show you how that works and I just picked my nose. for a bit but the zucchini is just about ready so I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna make the pancakes and I'll show you when it's done because I gotta charge the battery. So I measured out each bowl. This is the one with the, the wet ingredients already added but this has the um, dry powders and then the baking powder so I'll mix those up and then while that's cooking on that pan I mix the next one and then in here mix the milk, apple cider vinegar. So it's like a little assembly line going on. Yeah. done so those I'll put in Ziploc bags and put in the fridge as well as these guys I have to let them cool down of course but that's gonna be breakfast for pancakes yes so now I just have to put this and separate them evenly in my Tupperware so I'm gonna get my scale and we'll make sure we do that step I'll do is I'm just gonna split this evenly for two meals so into the other tub and that I just eyeball I don't have to weigh that because I already calculated the amount that I'm gonna be eating in the day like the oil everything I calculated and then I'm going to make some pasta here I'll show you yeah I don't think I showed you it before I can't remember but yeah my mom found this at Costco it's made with chickpeas and has pea protein so it's high in protein for a serving of two ounces 
32 carb, 14 protein, 3.5 fat. So this will be also helping me get my carbs in because now my carbs, calories are going up. It's so exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna make an, uh, a serving of this. Sometimes I'll do it for one to two days. I don't make it for the full week because pop, like for some reason bean pasta kind of gets weird towards the end of the week. So I'm gonna just stick with doing like one to two days in advance instead of like the whole week. All right, so whereas these ones, hold on, <laughs> are gonna be going in the fridge, I split these ones up so that I can put the pasta in it and distribute it. And then let me show you the snacks that I also like to pack. So for all you vegans out there, don't forget to get your omegas. And one of my favorite ways of getting my omegas is actually these chia bars. They're so, so good. I'm not sponsored or anything. And usually I'd get like the big pack of them, but then I found these five bar packs at like TJ Maxx for $3.99. I was like five bars, that's perfect for the five days of the week that I work. So it's easy. I just like open it up. Like this is a fresh box that I got and they have so many good flavors. And then boom. Just grab it, put it in my bag. I've got that prepped because it's literally five bars, so one for each day. So right now, the pasta is over there boiling, um, but otherwise, yeah, when I go to work, that's when I have like the pancakes for breakfast. So in the morning, like if you've seen what, one of my like what I eat in a day, it's usually I'll just have my coffee with whatever kind of nut milk I have, and then sometimes like a rice cake with some type of nut butter on it. Um, but when I'm in the office, I have another <laughs> nut butter, of course. I have my, the legendary foods, what is it? which one do I have over there? Oh, the banana chocolate. That one is my current favorite. I am almost out of it already and I need to stock up on more because legendary foods, so good. So this is what my week is looking like. So what I'm going to be doing each day is making my pasta. As you see here, it'll split up into two meals. Right now they're just in one tub because I'll do it as each day. This will be my breakfast, this will be a snack, I'll most likely include another snack, but that will vary between days, but otherwise, because I do macros, so I'm flexible with like whatever little snacks I add in, whether it's like fruit, maybe I'll add an apple each day, I don't know if I have enough apples, but like sometimes I'll even clock in like my post-workout stuff, but yes, I'll just use my fitness pal on my phone and then... I've already calculated this for one day. Um, the pancakes, I just have to plug in the chia bar. But I'll probably, maybe I'll add like a Lara bar too because I have these mini Lara bars that are delicious. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm kind of flexible with it because like maybe one day I'll want a Lara bar as well. Another day I want like a kind of bar or some other kind of vegan protein bar. So it just varies, but yeah. And then I have bananas that I'm waiting to ripen because I was hoping to do banana and ice cream as my post-workout, but they're not quite ready for me to freeze. So I just need to clean up real quick and then we'll wrap it up. And last thing that I'm gonna be having every day of this week. So it'll be like my normal breakfast, the lunch, but as another snack, I'm gonna be having these Kate Farms complete meal replacement shakes. I'm not usually a meal replacement shake person, but it helps me one, get the calories in now that my carbs are up and not just that, but help kind of maintain my weight because otherwise I feel super, super bloated if I'm eating a lot, lot more. So it just kind of helps me get that in. And I don't typically buy these. My friend didn't like them and gave them to me and luckily they're vegan and I actually like them. So I'm just gonna be including them this week until I run out because they taste good and I just need to get rid of them before they go bad. But yeah, otherwise I will probably do toast in the morning with not avocado toast, no, but probably peanut butter because you know your girl loves her peanut butter. So, that's it you guys. If you enjoyed this meal prep and maybe want to see the what I eat in day, like let me know below. Otherwise, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe because the next video for you guys, I was thinking we could do a nighttime skincare routine, but maybe we can do a workout video. If you guys want to see a workout video, let me know what body part you wanted me to do. I want to see, we just did a shoulders workout, so I was thinking what we could do, maybe some legs, some chest, let me know what you want to see. But yeah, otherwise, subscribe, I think I said that, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.